Today, I'm going to show you how to create a more exciting pie chart in PowerPoint, getting from this to this. Hi there, I'm Tian Thich with Sticky Spy. Welcome to this episode of Amazing Sticky Presentations, inspired by Sticky Spy, bringing you tips, ideas, and design for better presentations, turning your ideas into lasting impressions. Using the default function in PowerPoint is quick and easy, but it also produces charts that are not so exciting. What I usually like to do is to recreate the chart manually using the shape tools in PowerPoint, and then add exciting touches to the chart to make it interesting. You see, people attending presentation sessions are so used to seeing crappy slides, slides that include charts that are uninteresting dull and boring. So if you are going to show a chart in your presentation, you should make it unexpected and amazingly sticky. You should make it stand out from other presentations. So let's get into it. As you can see here, this is the pie chart that was created using the charting function in PowerPoint. Not very exciting, yeah? Before I show you how to create a more exciting pie chart manually in PowerPoint, let me first explain what are the objects that I will be creating and putting them together to form the pie chart. Using the arc shape in PowerPoint, I will create three segments of the pie, the 35% Japanese make, the 15% Korean make, and the 12% Chinese make. For the segment that says others, I will use the oval tool to create a full circle. Okay, let's begin. In a new slide in PowerPoint, we first remove all the template elements so that we can get a clean slide that is blank. Then go to the shapes and look for the arc tool. Once you selected the arc tool, hold on the shift key on the keyboard and drag diagonally from the top left of the slide to the bottom right. After creating the arc, you will notice the yellow handle at the beginning and the end of the arc line. The yellow handle at each end allows you to shorten and lengthen the arc. You want to do that to adjust the size of the arc according to what percentage the pie represents. We then fill the empty arc with a color. Let's choose a dark green color in shape field for the pie segment that represents Japanese car. At the same time, we also want to get rid of the outline. So we select no outline in the shape outline. To add the second pie segment, we will make a copy of the first pie segment, paste it exactly at its same position. So let's make a copy, paste, and move it on top of itself. Next, we will fill it with another color. Let's say a lighter green. Then we will drag the yellow handle on the arc to shift the pie to the next segment. We'll repeat the same for the third segment that represents 12% Chinese make. This time fill it with a light green color. For the last segment that represents others, we shall draw a full circle using the oval tool. We want a circle that is slightly smaller than the other pie segments. Let's fill it with grey and then send it to the back. Select all the created objects and move it to the centre of the slide. somewhere there. Now we will enlarge the pie segment that represents Japanese make and the Chinese make. We want to next reduce slightly the size of the segment that represents the Korean make. Remember to hold on the shift key while you are changing the size of the segment. Let's group them all together and then make the overall pie chart bigger. I want it to be really big, 
something like this. That's good. We need to now add in the text for each pie segment. Let's select the text insert tool and draw a text box in the first segment. 35% Japanese. Centralize the text and enlarge the font size to 120 points. Wow, really big. I want to change the font to Barlow font. Looks better now. Let's have the figure 35 bold. And the percentage symbol smaller at about 100 points. Japanese text, 46 point. Resize the text box so that it fits the text nicely and move it to the correct position. The black text doesn't look that good. Let's change it to white. Realize that the line spacing here is a little too much. So let's reduce it slightly. We'll go to the line spacing to adjust the line spacing to multiple at 0.8. Okay, it looks better now. We'll repeat the same for the rest of the other two pi segments by duplicating the text box and replacing it with the correct data. Hey there, if you are still here watching this video, go on to give it a like below. And remember also to subscribe to this channel for future videos. Let's now select everything and adjust the position to ensure it's centralized. Next, we shall add the title for the chart. Again, we will draw a text box at the top of the slide and type in Imported Cars by Make. Change the font to Balo and adjust the sizes accordingly. Perfect. Let's go to slideshow mode to see how it looks. Wonderful. Hmm. Looks like there's something missing. Oh, we need to add an icon of a car. Let's do that now. Go to insert and click on icons. And on the right of PowerPoint, you will see a list of icons that you can use. We want to search for a car icon. So let's type in car in the search bar. Great, there are quite a few choices. Let's take the sport car and click on insert. It's a bit too small. Uh, we can enlarge it and also rotate into position. Remember that we can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to accurately position any object in PowerPoint. Is 
done. Let's view it in slideshow. Wow, isn't that fantastic? One of the techniques of making exciting chart is to ensure that key data is clear and easy to understand. Besides the need to convey the data, you also want to create a visual impact. You want people to say, wow, this looks great and I understand what you're trying to tell me. You want this type of positive reaction from your audience attending your presentation session. Of course, this will take a little bit more time to create something exciting like this. But at the end of the day, it is worth the time spent. You get a better chart for your presentation and I can assure you that your audience will love it. What you see here in this video is creating this exciting pie chart using PowerPoint software. If you are a keynote user, stay tuned. I will be making another video showing you how to do this using Keynote software. In my next video, I will show you how to animate this pie chart to bring your presentations to the next level of stickiness. So stay tuned and remember to like and subscribe to my channel for more presentation tips, ideas and design to better your presentations. Also, I'd like to know what you think of this video. Do leave me a comment below. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.